airfoils today. Um, we have two different types of airfoils. We have the symmetrical and then the asymmetrical. Uh, the symmetrical, we have the upper camber and the lower camber um, that are equal to each other. With the asymmetrical, you can see down here, um, the upper camber and the lower camber do not equal each other. Um, the benefit of the symmetrical is that we have a more stable airfoil. With the asymmetrical, we produce better lift. So going a little bit more in depth into that, we have a, a, asymmetri or a, a symmetrical airfoil drawn out over here. I have the trailing edge and the leading edge. The trailing edge is the uh, um, aftmost point of the airfoil. The leading edge is the uh, foremost point on that airfoil. Uh, the line connecting those two is the cord line. We usually extend it out. We'll get into this uh, a little bit later. Uh, down here we have the tip path plane. It's the imaginary line that the tip would draw as it goes around in its planar rotation. Um, coming back up here we have relative wind. Um, as the relative wind, the, the blades now started to rotate around its axis of rotation, um, moving around the helicopter, the engine started up and everything. So wind's coming across the airfoil. Um, as it comes in, it's going to change depending on what you're doing. We have uh, the angle of attack is going to constantly change. Um, the more angle of attack, we're going to get uh, larger lift. As the angle of attack decreases, we get less lift. So going into this a little bit, uh, with a larger angle of attack, the relative wind's coming down here. This, these air particles are, are separating and they're coming around the uh, airfoil. With Bernoulli's principle, we've uh, discussed this a little bit earlier, we've talked about how as velocity increases, pressure decreases. So um, when it separates here, this particle has to travel a lot farther to meet up with uh, the same particle on the other side. So it's going to have to speed up. As it speeds up, pressure is going to decrease, creating that vacuum on top, sucking the airfoil up, creating lift. Um, so, uh, that's Bernoulli's principle in airflows with Utah Helicopter.